doesn't sound right. Mm, not again. Oh, a baby otter. Oh, it's so cute. Are you alone? Look at that. The early bird catches the worm. Let me see, Leo. Here you go, Katie. They're feeding their babies. <laughs> and it looks like Hero wants some of their food. I don't think you like worms, Hero. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. Look at what I found. It's a baby otter. Aww. But I think it's alone. Really? Let's find out more about what type of baby otter it is. Zari, you found a smooth-coated otter. Smooth-coated otters have webbed paws and they're excellent swimmers. They're able to hold their breath for up to eight minutes so they can hunt for prey underwater. Eight minutes without breathing underwater? I wish I could do that. Yeah, I would love to swim with smooth-coated otters. They're very social and playful animals. And they live in family groups. They live with their families? But this baby otter is all alone. Oh no, it must be lost. We have to get it back to its family. Don't worry, Zari. We'll be right over. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's go help the baby otter find its family, Katie. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Let's hurry over to Zari! Don't be afraid, Baby Otter! Where's your family? I don't see them anywhere. Huh? Ah! Oh, no! Oh, it's okay. Otters are good swimmers, right? The baby will be fine if it falls into the water? Um, maybe not. Smooth-coated otter pups rely on their mothers to protect and care for them. The mama otter feeds her babies milk and teaches them how to swim. Oh, no. What if this baby otter hasn't learned to swim yet? We can't take any chances. I'll try to grab it from here. Uh, Wait, Zari. Don't touch it with your bare hands. Or the otter mom might not take it back later. Oh, no! It doesn't look like it can swim at all. I'll save it. Don't worry. I'll get it. Jetpack activate. Was close. Drink up, little one. So, how are we going to find the baby otter's family? Hello, <gasps> Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you have in your hand? It's an empty carrier. I just completed an animal rescue mission. Why do you have a baby otter? It's lost, Ranger Rocky. We have to find its family. Now let's get this baby otter back to its family. This is one of the locations Ranger Lee mentioned. Do you see any otters? Yes, otters! That way! Hurry, everyone! <laughs> what is it, Hero? Oh, look! There's another otter family over there. Huh? So which family does the baby otter belong to? This looks like a territorial fight. Smooth-coated otters are territorial animals. They leave sprints, which are strong-smelling, jelly-like substances to mark their turf. As the otter populations grow, there is more competition for food and living space. We need to stop the fight. I'm afraid we shouldn't interfere, Junior Rangers. It's not safe, and we might cause more injury. 
Then what should we do, Ranger Rocky? We'll just have to wait for things to cool down and try finding the baby otter's family later. This is another location where the otters might be. <gasps> otters! Over there! Okay, Junior Rangers. We'll let the baby out here. Let's wait at the side to make sure the family finds it. I don't think the otter family can hear its squeaks. They're moving further away from the baby. Let me help! Check it out, Junior Rangers. It's the otter, Mom! Ah! Goodbye, baby otter! Grow up big and strong! Don't get lost again! Mission accomplished. I'm glad we found the baby otter's family. Hero, what is it? Huh? How did you get up there, Hero? You really want to be a part of the bird's family, huh? <laughs> Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Oh, hello, birdie. Watch closely. Which one, hero? Whoa! How'd you know? Hero can smell the treat, Leo. Is that so? <laughs> You're a genius, hero. Can I try it? Sure, Katie. Uh, I got this. This one? No? Then this one? This one! Are you sure, Leo? Hi, Junior Ranger Zari! Hi, Leo. A bird stole my key. I can't get home without it. <laughs> what a cheeky bird. I'll look up more information about the bird on my computer. Stay on the line, Zari. See what bird stole Zari's key. It's a house crow. House crows can be found in natural environments such as wooded areas and grasslands, but they also adapt well to places where humans live, like cities and towns. House crows are omnivorous. They eat a variety of food, from fruits and grains to insects and other small animals. They even search rubbish for leftover food. But I still need my key back from the crow. Don't worry, Zari. We'll be right over to help. Ranger out. Let's get Zari's key from the crow. Don't be too slow. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Uh, give that back! Uh, please! Hi, Zari! Leo! Katie! My key! Hero, be careful! Hero! Hero. Jetpack, Jet activate. activate! Three, two, one, pull! If chasing it doesn't work, let's lure the crow to us. I call this the yummy, tricky box. When the crow sees the food and gets closer, all we have to do is pull. And the crow will be trapped. Cool. Awesome. Go on, crow. 
Don't those berries look yummy? Huh? What's it doing? It didn't fall for my trick. There goes my key. And our berries. Did someone say berries? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? I was studying fruiting plants and wildlife in the park. What are you Rangers up to? We were trying to trick a crow to get my key back. But it outsmarted us. How's that possible, Ranger Rocky? <laughs> oh, is that a monkey? I'll leave you Rangers to it. Good luck! Thank Bye, you. Ranger Bye. Rocky! If a crow doesn't forget a face, do you think it recognizes you, Zari? Huh? Oh! Some time ago, I found an injured black baby bird and cared for it. I named it Call. Call was the smartest bird I ever met. It even knew how to play fetch. Call did love shiny things. Just a few more. My key! Thanks, guys! <coughs> Fetch! <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad Zari got to meet her house crow friend again. Hero? We're using a pebble this time. Hero? Hero? Pick the pebble! <laughs> Hero only cares for treats! Good job, children! You are amazing wildlife rangers! <sighs> Off to shower and bed. This glow-in-the-dark tennis set is so cool! Now we can play at night! Heads up, Katie! Yeah. <laughs> Oof! Ow! Katie! Hero! Are you okay? I'm fine, but my racket isn't. Oh, we'll have to get it fixed later. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Leo, help! There's a huge spider at my window! Wow, that is huge. Are you okay? I'm fine, but what do I do about it? Let's use the computer to see what species it is. Stay calm and hang tight, Zari. See you later, hero. <laughs> It's a golden orb spider. They can grow as big as an adult's hand. The golden orb spider usually lives in rainforests, but they adapt well to urban environments too. Golden orb spiders use venom, which is a kind of poison to stop their prey from struggling once they've been caught in their web. But no worries, while their bites can hurt, they prefer not to bite humans. So all we need to do is stay away. It's a bit hard to stay away from it when it's right there. 
I can't close my window with it hanging there. Don't worry, Zari. We'll help you move it away. Ranger, out. Let's go catch a spider. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, go. we go! Sorry, we're here! Where are you? Over here! <laughs> Why are you hiding? I'm scared! There's nothing to be afraid of. We just have to take it to a safe place in the forest. <gasps> Where's the spider? Hmm, maybe it's hiding in here somewhere? In my room? Oh no! Is it under the bed or right above me? Not here. No spider here. Oh no, where is it? It could have gone outside. We have to find it and make sure it's safe. Let's go. It's such a big spider. Where could it even hide? There, I think I see it. Oh man, it's just a stain. Maybe it's on the other side of the building. I hear it too, Hero! Whoa! Oh, just a cat. We've searched everywhere. This side of the building, that side of the building, behind walls, inside bushes. Uh, Leo, look behind you. Behind me? Ah! I'm fine. This is our chance. Quick, get the spider before it disappears. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was collecting data for research about spider webs when I ran into one and got stuck in it. We're dealing with a spider, too. We're trying to get it away from here before anyone hurts it. Very noble, Leo. But you might hurt it with your grabber. So how can we get him to safety? Actually, the spider is a she. Female golden orb spiders grow much larger than the males, so it's easy to tell them apart. The strands of their webs are thin, but also very strong. They're even strong enough to catch small birds. What makes this spider's silk unique is its golden color. This is where the golden orb spider gets the golden part of its name from. But why was she trying to get into my room? She could have been searching for food. I have to go back to my research. I trust you Junior Rangers will make sure the Golden Orb Spider is safe? We got it, Ranger Rocky. Good luck, Junior Rangers. So, how will we get the spider back to the forest without hurting it? I have an idea. Careful, and got it. We can use the spider's old web to transport her safely to the forest. Great thinking, Katie. Let's go. Where did the spider go now? She's up there. Jetpack, activate. I got her. Well done, Katie. Now back to the forest. You'll be safe here, Ms. Spider. She's building a new web. I think she likes it. And she's safe from harm. <sighs> I think it's time to sleep. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to get the golden orb spider somewhere safe. Leo, pass the ball. Here it comes. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I guess a spider web can't hold up against my mighty throw. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Thank <laughs> you.